Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing what is WEP that is Wired Equivalent Protocol. So uh, this protocol is basically uh, designed in order to provide the uh, security for uh, wired systems. Uh, but then in uh, wireless technology, uh, there has been found that uh, there is a few kind of uh, challenges which are there with uh, WEP. And so uh, we'll be seeing uh, what all are the various functions and the working of how WEP uh, is and the frame structure of how it looks basically is so uh, this WEP protocol that is wired equivalent protocol is a network protocol that adds security basically to Wi-Fi systems and other 802.11 wireless networks that is for a WLAN systems so uh, this protocol from the name uh, you can uh, see that it's a wired equivalent privacy means it provides uh, privacy to systems which is equal to the wired like cable or ethernet so uh, it aims to provide that kind of security to all the wireless systems and now it provides the data encryption as well as the integrity protection for all 802.11 standard devices that means for all WLAN networks and so uh, it conforms to the uh, standard of CIA that is confidentiality integrity and authentication Next, uh, this WP protocol aims to protect the link level data during wireless transmission means all the data which is being transported at the secondary layer that is the data link layer uh, whether it's a frame structure or a frame bit or it's being carried to individual uh, frames everything uh, it uh, complies to that kind of security and so uh, in this there is a feature is that uh, WP clients are there which share a same uh, secret key so those are called as WEP keys and which are used by these clients for authentication and also for encryption as well as decryption of the messages so this WEP clients has got this set of uh, WEP keys and so they share a same set of uh, secret keys and so uh, next if tomorrow if any data transfer has to be done over this wireless network then they use this kind of keys for uh, encryption as well as uh, similar kind of fashion is used for decryption as well so WEP key needs to be updated and it's stored in the client and can be cracked easily with the help of WEP 80.11x which is called as a dynamic WEP which exploits the weakness of the static uh, WEP so uh, WEP itself has got two variations that is static WEP and dynamic WEP so uh, static dynamic uh, WEP has got its own limitations where static WEP can be easily cracked with the help of dynamic uh, WP with 80.11x as its uh, code name so it has got certain kind of weaknesses that we'll see what all are the various flaws which are there in WEP so basically the working of WEP uh, is in this way so first the data encryption scheme is there so where you have the user generated values as well as system generated values so those two values are being concatenated or which are being combined and then it's being applied to the algorithm so a kind of RC4 system is there reversed cipher and through that uh, it's being generated and so original implementation of WP supported system uh, it supported encryption keys of 40 plus 24 bits uh, it's user and uh, system generated bits and uh, system data of about total 64 bits so this uh, makes a total of 64 bits so originally uh, this much was the uh, data bits standard which were used now uh, tomorrow uh, they thought that if uh, this gets confirmed or if any uh, challenges appear then they need to increase the protection level and so uh, longer keys were introduced uh, of 128 bits, 152 bits and 256 bits. Uh, now let's see uh, the framework or how the data is being encrypted or how the WP frame looks like. So basically to begin with we have 24 bit and 40 bit two different set of uh, values or two different uh, fields so that is first one is IV that is integrity value so in WEP we know it is used for integrity protection and data encryption so for integrity protection we have this IV and then you have the key uh, which is this WEP key so key has particular number or key value so uh, those two are just fed to this RC4 so this is a reversed cipher so this is an encryption uh, just combiner and then you have this payload payload means the actual data which you need to send whichever your data might be whether it's a text data or whether it's a visual or audio data and then this icv is used that is of 32 bit that is the integrity check value icv which is uh, now this part all is unencrypted or de-encrypted 
then if you pass all these values to this RC4, then this part just get uh, encrypted and it just uh, forms a layer on this payload and ICV. So uh, at the output, you have this payload and ICV value which is being encrypted. Now uh, this encrypted value is attached to a set of uh, three headers. So the very first one is the normal header where you can have the version number of the WEP frame and uh, also other basic details regarding that WEP frame and next is the integrity value uh, where you have the integrity check being done and the number of times uh, it is being versioned and then you have the key number key number is basically the key which is being used in series so it's in a chronological order where you get the key numbers and then you have this payload as well as the ICV uh, which you get from this step. Uh, now uh, we told that in WEP there is a kind of flaw or it fails to check on certain parameters so those are it does not prevent forgery of packet so uh, mainly the network forgery happens so forgery is nothing but it uh, basically does not checks any kind of validations over this packet it just uh, accepts the packet and sends to the end system so uh, at the other end if there is an attacker being present and if it is being uh, done with evil intention then it's not uh, possible to identify with the help of WP and the uh, sender who is sending this information will get compromised uh, next is does not prevent any replay attack. So replay attack is basically uh, first you record a particular scenario then that scenario is being uh, just uh, replayed back and the other system uh, will be under the impression that it's being coming from a valid legitimate system. So those kind of checks are not uh, done in this so it's prone to uh, replay attack and there is a uh, RC4 which is being used here. So this RC4 used in this is very vulnerable and so it's uh, done under improper implementation so that kind of issue is also there in WEP and it lacks key management since all the keys are shared among different WEP clients and there is no proper or the updation is very poor in this and so uh, it reuses the initialization vector so initialization vector is uh, basically uh, when we generate a particular WEP frame you have that uh, matrix or that vector so that vector it does not uh, basically checks for any other uh, hardcore uh, decryption technique so uh, you can also use the brute force attacks and uh, any free internet uh, widely available software can be used in order to decrypt those kind of data so it's not that very secure and so if uh, this kind of protocol is uh, this much vulnerable to attacks and it has got so many flaws uh, you need to formulate or you need to come with another protocol which is used for uh, Wi-Fi systems and so as of now WP is not there and it's replaced in the year 2004 with the help of Wi-Fi protected access which is called as WPA and it's supplanted by the WPA2. Now in all of these uh, Wi-Fi systems uh, you will get this kind of WPA so uh, I have got an example so uh, I have my network so uh, in this network as you can see uh, this security you can see as WPA2 PSK that is Wi-Fi protected access that is second version and PSK is the phase shift keying which is used in this. So uh, this is the kind of uh, network security that we get from this. So instead if you uh, use WEP then it can be easily compromised and so if in an open network if it's not there then it can be easily accessible to all public but since uh, this is being a home network and it's being protected by a password you have this WPA that is Wi-Fi protected access especially for Wi-Fi and all the 802.11 standards and it is being uh, the keying is mainly used by the phase shift key that is PSK.